Um, I'm a big fan of all the bands you've been in. Like, I love Face to Face and Saves the Day, and then, of course, The Offspring. Uh, but could you tell us the story of the guys confronting you about um, ousting you from the band? Yeah, I mean, it, it really boiled down to a really terrible, abusive call that I got from their manager, um, who, you know, as far as I was concerned, we were trying to work this out, figure out some way to move forward. And he just made it very plainly clear that I was to get the shot or I was out, that I I was easily replaceable. There was no reason that they should be bothered to do anything special for me. Didn't matter that I'd been there for 14 years. Didn't matter that I'd, you know, ate every plate of shit I'd ever been served. The first time I said no, I was out. So, I mean, it was a really shockingly horrible call. And, uh, you know, it felt abusive and threatening and, you know, I'm a pussy or I, I won't get on board for the greater good and this and that. And so, you know, I took it to the guys and I said, hey, you know, got this call. That was weird. And I'm a drummer. I'm used to managers hate drummers. You know, Dickie, <laughs> back me up here because we're, you know, <laughs> managers don't understand music. So they look at everybody except the singer like they're expendable, which is how this guy looked at me. And, you know, so when I took it to the guys and said, hey, this guy is you know, this was crazy. Like I've had shitty calls before, but this is off. This is out of line. And they backed him up. They backed him up, took his side. And I tried to present all kinds of different arguments um, for supporting my position. I had my medical exemption, didn't matter. Um, and so, you know, uh, after that, everything de-escalated really quickly. And, you know, I found out I was replaced because everyone just stopped speaking to me. And I they found were out close was, too. They were like their families were intertwined. Yeah, we were and, tight. Yeah. Fourteen years of traveling the world. Our families were tied. Our kids were tied. Our wives were all friends. And I found out I was replaced through my Southwest app. My flight to rehearsal disappeared, and then later on that day, um, my access to the band work calendar was revoked. And and that was that. Like that's you know just ghosted and uh, you know abandoned overnight because you know you said no to something that you know, that I knew wasn't right for me. And, you know, it, it felt like there was ways to work around this. I mean, I, they went out, you know, obviously I got replaced. They went right out on tour. I tried to explain things and, you know, I was called all kinds of crazy and then that was just it. And then just kicked to the curb. Well, in case you feel bad and I'm disappointed because I, I consider Dexter a friend. I was uh, like the band. I was like Dexter and I, I wish he would have stood up for you and i guess you feel that way as well i do and the funny thing is the first show they played um that i wasn't allowed to play with them was your backyard barbecue show i know and they were off oh uh, <laughs> wait a minute i was drunk <laughs> it was something and both, it, was both, both. it was both it was definitely both <laughs> 